when you're a father, you look back and you think, did you do it the right way? My days of building cars kind of started as a necessity. In the years that Josh was born, you know, it kind of woke me up that, hey, you know, I gotta get serious here and get to work. My first memories were my dad working late and they were really big in debt and it was really uncertain. And I was hustling, I was wholesaling street cars, I was doing anything I could do to make money to keep my family going. I didn't grow up as a normal teenager. You know, I grew up right into an adult world. I would say he was a man real early because he was out doing a man's job. He was in a unique situation. He blocked out what he was really doing. He didn't realize how big it was to be out there racing at 16, 17 years old and being successful and actually beating them at that age. But you can't have everything in life. I don't care who you are. If you're going to be in a professional, competitive type of lifestyle, you make sacrifices. If you're going to do this, and this is the life that you chose, this is what you're going to have to do. And, you know, he didn't go to the prom, and we barely made graduation. You know, we had to schedule graduation around racing. That's not easy to do for anybody. I look back on it and think that, yeah, he missed out on some things. But he wouldn't be the Josh Richards that he's become in the racing world if he hadn't done it the way we did it.